So, some progress has been made here. You're looking at the back side of the lower part of the player action. This is the main reservoir that runs the full width of this assembly. And I've already drilled the hole, an inch and a quarter diameter hole here, and installed this elbow with four screws. And I used a little bit of um, this PVC E cement here. Just a very, very tiny little ring of it around the perimeter there to help seal this to that, even though the screws are going to be doing most of the work. I didn't use a gasket. And um, <clears throat> we'll see at some point in the future how hard that is to remove from this when time comes to rebuild this, but I suspect I used just barely any on there, and then I brushed it out real thin with a brush, that this will probably come off okay. I used so little that it didn't even ooze out around the perimeter there. And if you look inside, you just barely see any has oozed out at all around the inside of the hole. So I'm not too worried about that. It's a little bit fun drilling the hole here. I, um, I wanted to drill the hole on the movable board at the front but that's not considered good practice and it would have allowed me to use the stock length of two foot hose that came with the kit but I can buy more of this hose as required uh, I'll have to use a hose about three and a half feet long to get to where the suction box is going to be in the corner there so I went ahead and mounted this on the back side in the middle and I've got it angled here like you can see so that the hose can be routed along this path like you see here along the top of the um, bellows the foot pump bellows and uh, bellows and there so that there's clearance the strings are right here like this and then this won't be visible at all from the um, from the front and it'll it'll look real nice and neat and if, <coughs> pardon me, if the um, foot pumps are used, the hose won't be in, in between the bellows and the strings of the foot pumps. They'll be up here out of the way. So I'll have to um, um, make some straps or something, or, or probably just zip tie it to this um, hose right here where it runs across is all it'll be needed to... Um, uh, secured in place and so that's why the connector is at a 45 degree angle there and I mounted it here it's, it's in the geographical center of this main reservoir bellow and I looked this over very carefully and decided that there wasn't a spring inside there when I drilled the hole I discovered that there was some felt there and then a large coil spring just floating in the middle so uh, it doesn't seem like the placement of this affects that coil spring at all. It's a big spiral spring kind of uh, conical in the way it's wound. And um, it's just floating in there and, it, and there's a, some heavy felt on um, about this wide that runs there and runs there. So if I had gone ahead and picked the front side of the movable bellow like I had originally wanted to, I would have been able to use the original hose and I wouldn't have ran into that spring. But like I said, I've carefully removed all the excess felt and and um, and cleaned it up in there and it doesn't seem like that's going to be an issue at all. And if at some point in the future I decide I don't want this here and I want to use it on the front, well I can make a, a little wooden um, panel right here to, to cover that up make it like a little access door but I like this right here I think that's going to be a good spot for it and so I'm ready to um, put this back in the uh, piano there and for the time being until I get everything shook down I'm going to run this with the shop back to get all the remainder of the wood chips or anything that are going to might be in there although I've vacuumed it out very thoroughly and I even took the cutout block back off so I could apply vacuum there and suck stuff out and I have I have this all taken apart so I can readjust all that and um, we'll see how it goes but this is the first step 
to installing the um, the uh, vacuum pump. Now the vacuum pump's going to mount down here in the corner, and because of the the room that's there, it's going to have to sit on top of that uh, beam that comes back, and it won't balance there. I'm going to make a little shelf for it to get it up into that corner so that it doesn't interfere with the spring here on this side of the bellow. If I was to take this spring out, it would sit on the floor inside the piano cabinet with no problem, but I don't want to remove this spring because I lose some of my reservoir capacity in doing that. So what I'm going to do is make a little shelf and set it up out of the way. And then once all that's mounted, then we'll start, I'll take this upper part apart and we'll figure out how we're going to mount the controls. So pretty exciting stuff going on here. Um, the conversion is coming along nicely. This was the first and most intimidating step, obviously, is adding the place where the air is going to be drawn out of um, the lower pneumatic separate from where it's removed. You obviously don't want to um, connect it to the um, there because of the cutout that is there and um, you can't just connect, you can't just t tee it in right here because there's a cutout here um, that cuts off all airflow to the stack during the rewind so you don't hear the music played backwards. So anyway, a uh, little update on the project here. Thank you for watching.